and uh, we talked about cooties and every once in a while boys would run over and it was while we were in the gym so there was a lot going on but uh, we talked about cooties and at what age they think that they grow out of cooties and it kind of gave me an insight like of what they think of themselves like their sex and sexuality and like how they can't touch boys or be seen like playing games with boys like if I was to try to come up with some sort of plan to talk with the younger kids about health subjects I think definitely um, I would make it age appropriate because I feel like I went into a lot of the conversations hoping that they would talk a lot more than they did. I want to plan a little bit better so that I know what I'm going to be talking about and how maybe I can relate it to them more. Um, but one thing I probably could have caught on to and like played along with was they were actually doing a healthy activity and they um, allow the kids to play a healthy game. I think just on Wednesdays they do it and the winner of the game picks the snack for the next week. And I noticed that the kids were being so wild. So I naturally asked what they had been doing all day and they all responded with oh, what we're doing right now. And um, so I kind of just like cried a little bit more said they had been inside all day playing on their phones and uh, they watched a movie and they were playing pool and board games and stuff but they had not been outside. I did talk to one little girl who said that she loved to dance and I kind of like touched on that and I was like hey well I think that's really cool because you know dancing is like a great exercise and she actually didn't know that so I talked to her and uh, two of her little friends about how moving your body in any way with or tumbling like they like to do, like doing the problems over and over again, or the splits and the stretching. He said all that stuff is, is so important, and if you enjoy doing it, then you should every day. And maybe these kids' uh, nutritional knowledge is pretty low. So if I was to go into the Boys and Girls Club and um, perhaps put together a lesson to teach them some information, um, I'd probably go nutritional route and I would start really basic um, since it's such a broad and diverse community there I feel like I could um, I could really be less into a lot of them I feel like the topics we talked about were different than maybe before or maybe what I would have expected to talk to them about in regards to health content and things like that, but it was kind of interesting. Uh, they were super excited about me being there, which felt really good, and uh, made me excited about being there too, just being able to hang out with them, and them asking when I was going to be back, or um, how come I don't come more often, and it just felt really good um, to be there with them, and for them to know that I wanted to spend time with them, uh, whether it was mandatory or not. Uh, the Boys and Girls Club is, is a place that I can see myself continuing to volunteer because I know that those kids really appreciate our presence. So uh, just being there today was a really positive experience and especially with the things that I actually got to talk to the kids about today. Um, not so much nutrition or being healthy and exercising, but more so uh, talked about mental health today and keeping a positive attitude and uh, promoting positive behaviors and supporting behaviors for their friends and, and um, being able to recognize the actions that they were taking that weren't necessarily positive or um, promoting anything good. It was really important for me to talk about like respecting other people and respecting yourself and kind of setting standards for yourself and then allowing other people like seeing it in other people to whether or not they're doing that or if you think that um, their actions are good actions or if they're not good actions. Today was really awesome because we got to go outside which was um, amazing because I haven't been outside with the boys and girls club since uh, last semester maybe once or twice and it was a lot of fun to play on the blacktop playing basketball and kickball with the kids um, but as soon as I got a chance to 
therapy, like one on one with one of the little boys, I got to talking to him, and we were talking about his PE class and um, like the kinds of things he learns besides like sports and besides skills. And he said that well, we don't learn anything. And I said, well, does your teacher read to you guys? And he said, no, we're in fourth grade. We know how to read. And I said, okay, well, do you guys learn about anything besides sports? And he said, well, yeah, I mean, we learn about, like, the healthy stuff. And I said, okay, so you're going to tell me a little bit more? And so he tar started talking to me about foods and just remaining active. And I thought that it was really cool that he opened up and started talking to me about what they do in health in elementary school because a lot of the other kids um, it's really hard to talk to them about anything they don't really want to talk about it or they change the subject or they're too excited about something else that they're doing so it is difficult to um, to get some really good conversations flowing at the boys and girls club because they're all over the place all the time but i think that being there in itself is just really really important because once they realize that you do want to hang out with them and you want to play sports with them and um, actually interact with them instead of just kind of watch over like a lot of the actual employees at the facility do, um, they get really excited and they cling to you and they want to know a lot about you and they want to ask you questions and just feel like uh, these kids need structure for sure. They need a lot of structure and they need um, to kind of be told what's right from wrong and actually be held accountable for their actions because a lot of them um, aren't.